Elon Musk, who co-founded Neuralink in 2016, has stated that the technology would enable someone who has paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone who uses their thumbs. The Silicon Valley startup, which has already successfully implanted an artificial intelligence microbrain chip into the brains of one macaqua monkey, Pager, and a pig, Gertrude, is now hiring a clinical trial director to oversee the retrials. Let us take a deeper dive into this topic in today's video by Tech Unity. Before we begin, though, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. Now, without further ado, let us get right into it. You will collaborate with some of the most innovative doctors and top engineers and work with Neuralink's inaugural clinical trial participants, according to a job post for a clinical trial director position in Fremont, California. Working in a fast-paced and constantly changing environment, you will be responsible for leading and developing the team that is responsible for facilitating Neuralink's clinical research efforts, as well as developing the regulatory relationships that come with working in such a fast-paced and constantly changing environment. A neural implant is a device that is implanted inside the body and communicates with neurons. Neurons are cells that communicate via electrical language. They discharge electrical impulses in specific patterns similar to Morse code. An implant is an artificial item inserted into the body through surgery or injection. Researchers can use these devices to record native brain activity, allowing them to observe the patterns through which healthy neural networks communicate. Neural implants can also provide electrical pulses to neurons, which override native firing patterns and force neurons to interact differently. In other words, neural implants allow scientists to access the nervous system. Interventions using brain implants, whether called neuromodulation, electrocuticles, or bioelectronics, have the potential to become potent medical tools. Consider the nervous system's functions. It regulates thinking, seeing, hearing, feeling, moving, and urinating, to mention a few. It also regulates numerous involuntary functions in the body, including organ function and the inflammatory, respiratory, cardiovascular, and immunological systems. Researchers have also spent a significant amount of time controlling the vagus nerve with neural implants. Researchers are hacking the vagus nerve, which connects most of our essential organs to the brainstem, to treat heart failure, stroke, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, epilepsy, type 2 diabetes, obesity, depression, migraine, and other disorders. Perhaps no area of neuromodulation research has piqued the public's interest more than mind-controlled prosthesis. These technologies allow amputees to use their thoughts to control robotic hands, limbs, and legs in rudimentary ways. This can be performed by placing a neural implant in the brain or the extremity above the amputation. Some of these robotic limbs can also provide sensory feedback by activating nerves directly above the amputation, allowing the user to feel what they are touching. Musk co-founded Neuralink with eight other people in 2016, with the ultimate goal of allowing people to communicate with the internet via a chip implanted in their brains. It is about creating ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers, according to Neuralink. At the same time, this technology sounds like something out of science fiction. The firm has loftier goals. It's partially designed to enable paralyzed individuals to communicate with world more freely. This is an admirable objective, but it is uncertain whether technology is on the verge of attaining it. The Neuralink can boast of particular success, such as a video from last year showing Makakwa playing ping pong with his mind, monkeys beware, with an estimated net worth of $256 billion, Elon Musk is the world's wealthiest person. He claimed last month that he was cautiously optimistic that the implants would allow tetraplegic people to walk again. We hope to have this in humans, which will be patients with severe spinal cord injuries, such as tetraplegics or quadriplegics, subject to FDA, Food and Drug Administration approval, he said at the Wall Street Journal CEO Council event. I believe we can restore full body functionality to someone who has had spinal cord damage with Neuralink. In monkeys, Neuralink is proving to be successful and we're currently carrying out a series of experiments to establish that it's incredibly safe and reliable and that the Neuralink device can be withdrawn with ease. In contrast, Musk has a track record of making inflated statements about the speed with which the company is developing. The device would be implanted into a human skull by 2020, according to his predictions given in a statement released in 2019. 
CEO Elon Musk indicated that the device would be implanted flush with the skull and charged wirelessly so you seem and feel entirely normal. Musk added that the device would appear and feel completely natural. Changing faulty and missing neurons with circuits is the way to think about the technology, rather than replacing faulty or missing neurons with neuronal replacements, he recommended. As he puts it, development will accelerate after we put electronics in people next year. It was previously released a video showing the chip being utilized by a monkey to play the computer game Pong using their thinking, which was made by Neuralink and led the chip into action. What happens after that? A clinical trials director has been identified as a critical role for the organization, who will cooperate with some of the most inventive doctors and best-known engineers in the world and work with Neuralink's first clinical trial participants. Working in a fast-paced and constantly changing environment, he will be responsible for leading and developing the team that is responsible for facilitating Neuralink's clinical research efforts, as well as developing the regulatory relationships that come with working in such a fast-paced and constantly changing environment. It is unclear whether Neuralink chip is in the development process, but according to Al Jazeera, Hiring a clinical trials director is the first step toward getting the medical device approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. According to the Wall Street Journal, Musk stated at the CEO Council meeting that we hope to have this in our first humans, which will be the people who have severe spinal cord injuries. In addition to conducting clinical experiments on animals, founded by billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, Neuralink is also doing clinical trials on humans. Musk stated just a few weeks ago that the new implants would allow tetraplegic patients to walk in the manner in which they are accustomed to walking. He also indicated that the company aims to experiment on people classified as those who have suffered severe spinal cord injuries. Neuralink in the case of spinal cord injuries or wounds, Musk believes, can enable total restoration of the function for people who have suffered from them. His subsequent statement that the chips can be removed with relative ease serves to reaffirm the safety and dependability of the company's products. Musk, on the other hand, has set new benchmarks for overpromising at such a rapid speed about his company's growth and development. There is another company working in the same field, Utah Arrays. Both Neuralink and Utah Array are developing the implant is of the same size, but the implant of Neuralink has many more electrodes, which means it can record from far more neurons. While a Utah Array usually has 100 electrodes, up to 4 or 5 can be placed, Neuralink claims its version will have 1,000, and the company believes it is possible to place up to 10. A robot would stitch in very fine threads of flexible, biocompatible polymer material studded with electrodes to avoid piercing microvessels, which Neuralink thinks will reduce scarring and increase the device's lifespan. Their goal is to record stimulate spikes in the neurons in the ways of magnitude more than anything has been done to date, while also being safe and good enough that it does not feel like a significant operation, Musk said in his presentation, adding that the procedure would be more like a laser eye surgery than brain surgery. According to Musk, the device's development is driven by medical concerns. Still, he is also concerned about the threat presented by artificial intelligence and believes this could provide a method to keep up with it. An implanted Neuralink chip in the brain of a disabled person would allow him to handle a mouse and keyboard without the need to move their limbs, according to the researchers. Alternatively, information might be transmitted in the reverse direction, allowing the person's brain to simulate the experience of contact as a result. What procedures are employed to do this? When neurons in the brain fire, they generate electrical impulses that can be collected and recorded by electrodes placed close to where the neurons are firing. In a naive sense, replaying these impulses can simulate the natural sensation of other events, such as holding an apple or kissing another person, even though the technology is significantly more complex. So there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. With this, we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Till then, peace out.